All right, stocks uh, sliding on renewed coronavirus economic worries. How will investors react uh, to the business showdown, shutdowns that continue, particularly if it goes beyond April? What if it goes into May? What if it goes into June or even further? So how are you managing all of this? Well, I think you just you got to take this in strides and just realize there are going to be some ups and downs here, but there are opportunities to take advantage of. And last week, you bring up was a really good example. The market did really well last week, and that was actually in light of us finally getting the first data set, which was unemployment, which were not some great numbers. And despite that, the markets were up 6% the day we heard the unemployment numbers. They were up almost 13% for the week. And it's just a good reminder of the fact that the markets are forward-looking, and they're pricing in the fact that we're going to get this data. So seeing more bad data coming out isn't necessarily going to be a bad thing for the markets. And so you want to kind of start to add some money back in as these opportunities arise. And yes, there may be more opportunities as we go forward. So I would keep some dry powder here. So that way we can say just take advantage again if there's more opportunity. Where are you looking? Uh, you, you talk about adding over the next couple of weeks, Courtney. Uh, is there mm -hmm. any specific area? Because it feels like leadership is changing here a little bit. It is. And we're really just making sure that with all of our clients, this is really the time you need to make sure you're diversified because we are going to see some leaders come out first and foremost. And the big question is what's going to happen. And a lot of the analysis is just kind of going beyond reason right now, as you're seeing just people pricing right. and emotion. So you really want to make sure that you are not trying to pick and choose any certain companies here. We really want to be spread out over the global markets right now.